All right, so we're dealing with locks right now, fighting them specifically. If you just if you don't want to bother taming any, uh, if you just want to get some quick schmeat and hide, you know, go ahead and lure one at a time. Do not take on more than one. They crowd you. They, you know, they attack. Every single one of their attacks hurts really bad. I think I have this one's attention. That's what I was trying to do, get somebody to look at me. Here we go. Yeah, he's coming. Oh. So, he has two attacks. He has the bite and he has the stomp. Knowing that is half the battle. So, there's no telegraphing on that bite. So, you, get, you just got to be careful. If he lowers his head like that, that's very easy to see right there. You know, the, the stomp is very easy to telegraph because, I mean, he telegraphs it. It's very easy to predict. But that bite, you can parry it too. You see that? You just gotta quit. You gotta be quick about raising your shield. You gotta pay close attention to this guy because if he bites, it's you don't you don't have a good window of time, and you don't have much time after a parry. You can't do a full triple hit combo. You gotta do two hits and be happy with that. Don't get greedy. He will bite you in the face. Come on. And keep an eye on your stamina, you know. It's kind of like Dark Souls, in a way, you know, with the parry stuff. But it's real easy. And notice how I close the distance immediately after parrying. Just keep your hand, uh, your pinky on that shift key. You know, it's... Oh, you know what? I missed that one. See? And it's good to fight these guys on level ground. So if it's if you're uphill or downhill from them, it's not that great. Always oh, running away, punk ass. Hey, we ain't done. All right, he's gonna bite. Just run, just sprint right back to him. I took the triple combo because that was a killing hit. But usually, after that third hit, if he's got life left, you don't have time between your third swing and your blocking. He will hit you with that bite. You know, so it's just best to play it safe. Take your time fighting these guys. Do not get cocky. Do not get greedy. You get plenty of this big locks meat and locks hides and even some of those ugly ass trophies. So there it is. Fix to go fight this guy. Just uh, for a little bit more demonstration. Right before he hits the ground. See, he rolled away after two hits. Find some level ground. Don't be scared to, to dodge out of the way. You know, you do that that dodge roll. This don't feel right. You know, it's slightly uh, sloping ground. He won't hit you if you're sprinting away from him. Uh, you're you're too fast for him. But all right, this ground's a little bit more level. You can face him better here. Just keep your block up. Whenever he goes to bite, parry. Sixty-seven clubs. Maybe I'll die soon and get knocked back down to 60. <laughs> this freaking game. Alright, he's he's almost done. But you see, you just you parry. You can do a free hit combo whenever you know that it will finish him off. Uh, but if not, if he's got plenty of life left, don't risk it. But there it is. There's how to fight locks. It's pretty easy. It used to be easier uh, before the Hearth and Home update. But now since then, I feel like the parry timing window has gotten much narrower, so you do have to kind of practice a little bit and get good at it. Get good, you know, but uh, it, it's easy to get the hang of. You know, the timing is easy to learn. You just got to fight a few of them and, you know, no big deal. So, see you all next time.